Why does finish 3D printing loads of things that you will actually use? And the best part is they print insanely fast. So let's start off with this. This tiny one and a half hour print will actually trap any flies and mosquitoes or any other insects in here so that you don't have to worry about them buzzing around all over the place. All you need to do is add something nice and sweet in the bottom of here. The lid lifts off. Add some water with sugar, maybe a bit of vinegar in there as well to kill them. And then on goes the lid. The flies will go inside the hole and they won't be able to get out. Then you just need to empty this out, give it a little rinse and it's ready to go again. Of course, you could go and buy disposable fly traps from the supermarkets or you could print one in one and a half hours. I know what I'm doing. Next up is a print that takes minutes and uses barely any PLA whatsoever, but I promise you it has value. This is a trolley token that works in the UK, probably across the whole of the EU as well. And uh, well, you need these to release the trolleys when you go to the supermarket. And I always, always either spend the one pound coin that I'm meant to be saving for it, or I'll just lose the trolley token all the time. So I printed loads because now I can just leave them in the car and I will never not have enough moving on we have this right here this tiny little print again barely any time to actually do this and it has a little o-ring on there which i printed in tpu to be able to make this thing watertight this is a pretty damn useful thing for anybody who does anything like camping or fishing or anything where you may want to keep something dry like matches possibly so you can screw the lid on the top here and because it has the tpu seal you can make it nice and tight and now it is completely watertight now obviously you could scale this up and make it way bigger but for me this is absolutely fine keeps the print time nice and small too and also there's a space on the top where you can attach it to like a, a carabiner or a bit of string whatever you want to attach it to absolutely awesome now i'm not saying this one will always work but it's definitely something that you could print and pop in your window just to deter anyone who has a little bit of common sense i suppose this is definitely something you can print super fast pop it in your window and you never know maybe someone who was considering breaking in and taking all of your stuff now may actually change their mind and i'm not saying that you also have to have cameras you can put this and it'd be completely false but also keep in mind you could make something just like this for things like beware of the dog beware of the cat if you really wanted to and whatever else you wanted to do but this is actually useful you could print this for a very little cost pop it in your window and if it saves you once then i'd say it was worth the price and just a quick reminder that if you haven't already subbed to the channel, it is growing super fast and I appreciate it so much. So please do click the sub button. It will help out a ton. And also, if you want to see all the times I dropped that and all the other fails, then consider becoming a channel member because there's all the bloopers as well. Number five probably should have came after number one because it is a good old fly swatter. Now, I've actually never had one of these or used one of these, but I've always wanted to buy them. I just never have. Now I can just make my own. And the design of this is great because the fact that everything is completely like with holes and stuff, it just moves super fast. I mean, let's be honest, there's not really much more to talk about with this. It's a fly swatter and you can 3D print it. No longer do you need to be looking for like a random towel or like magazine or anything like that to kill the bug that is driving you insane. Get one of these printed and just put it wherever it needs to go. Moving on, we have... Moving on, we have a couple of whistles. I'm going to put these together, but the red one and the blue one do completely different things. First of all, the red one is an alert whistle. This is something you're going to want to have if you go out camping or backpacking or hiking or anything that puts you in a place where you may want to alert anybody that you're in trouble or if anyone else is in trouble, this is insanely loud. In fact, it's probably the loudest whistle I've ever used and it's 3D printed. You don't need any extra pieces, just fully 3D printed, no sports or anything like that and a super short print time. But definitely something that you're gonna to wanna to have with you in those sort of situations. However, the blue whistle is a 21,000 kilohertz whistle. It's a dog whistle. We're not gonna be able to hear this. You're not gonna be able to hear this, uh, but the, the, the dogs and the other pets definitely will. Super useful for any pet owner. I'm sure plenty of dog owners do have them, but yeah, you can 3D print them super fast. But if I can't hear it, how do I know that it actually works? Keep an eye on the end of the audio on this side. It definitely worked. Yeah, bad idea. Moving on, we have this and we're gonna need a drill. This quick to print tool here is super useful and is gonna save you a lot of mess because you're gonna be able to drill whatever you need to through the wall, dust and cement and stuff will all get collected 
in the bottom here. The amount of times that I've thought, oh, I'll just quickly put up this one thing and then you drill the hole through and there's dust everywhere. Then you gotta get the vacuum, you gotta clean that up as well. Might as well use this and save yourself the time of cleaning up every time you use your drill. This one's simple, but super useful. A good old fashioned door wedge. I use mine a hell of a lot. As you can see, I kick this under the door from the hallway into the kitchen to keep the kids out when I don't want them in there because I'm not in there. Now, while there's not a lot to talk about with this, when you do print one, make sure you put the infill a little bit more than you would normally for a print, just to make sure it stays nice and strong. You don't want this thing to just crush under your door whenever you move it. But super useful. I mean, go anywhere that has like heavy doors and that sort of stuff. Door wedges will be around every single door. Print super fast and something that I use every single day. Now, if you can guess what this is for, I'll be very surprised, but let me know in the comments if you got it right. It is a cable organizer. Now this one I'm using specifically for my earphones, but you can print all different sizes and whatever you need of these to wrap any cables around that possibly could get tangled up. Like everybody knows that earphones get tangled up like absolute crazy in your pocket, but with this you can pop it in your pocket and you know that when you get it out, all you have to do is pull out one of these and unwrap it around and you're good to go. And if you let these get tangled up in your pocket, you'll spend longer untangling it than printing this actual thing. Moving on, we have this hand strengthening grip. I'm just kidding, this would, it wouldn't really do anything. This is a bottle opener that allows you to pop it over the top of bottle caps and gives you a little bit of extra leverage to open up the tight, like frustrating ones that you can't quite get. And when you, when you slide your hand across it, it can get your hands a little bit. But also anyone with arthritis or carpal tunnel, anything that is gonna be a little bit of a problem for opening up tops of tight bottle caps, this is super useful. My best example would probably have to be fruit shoe bottles. Now we quite often use these for crafts and stuff with the kids. So taking the tops off is something that we have to do. And they're super tight. We used to use a pair of scissors that had like a grip for walnuts on the inside. But for anybody who does have something that makes opening bottle caps and stuff super difficult, it's a pretty useful tool to have for the time it takes. Now I'll really be impressed if you can guess what this one is. There's, there's no way. Even, I wouldn't guess what this one is if you showed me this. It's a sponge holder, but for a scrub daddy sponge that sits on the side of your sink, it can drip off and everything. I actually really am glad that I found this because this is one I will be using. I never had this until today, and I'm, uh, this is going to be a good one. The missus will like this too because there's nothing worse than finding your sponge at the bottom of a sink full of dishes, and you've got to get it out. It's all, uh, no, you don't want to have to look for it at the bottom of the sink this now has a home look at it it just sits on there beautifully i mean my sponge is some better days i need a new one and it looks all happy and stuff and i'm happy with it it's, it's really cool i like it a lot and you can put like your, your your plug on here if you want to or whatever you want to put on there and overall it's just a super fast easy print that actually will make a difference like i will 100 percent use this this will stay there always now and it gives the sponge a home that is not right at the bottom of everything in the sink every kitchen needs these and Every kitchen needs these. And if you don't have any, you're gonna want to get some. So please give it a go because I guarantee you won't regret it. These are little clips that help you seal or secure anything that are in packets or bags or freezer bags, anything like that. With a little click, you're gonna be able to secure that bag tight. And these ones are actually freaking awesome. These are the best ones I've found online. There's a lot of these available, but this one is super strong and secure and nice and tight. And they print three at the same time, all in different sizes. And they come out beautifully, honestly, absolutely perfect. Now I'd recommend printing them in blue because you are gonna be putting them like around food products, like in the fridge maybe, or in the freezer, in the cupboards, that sort of thing. So if anything does ever break off, having it in blue is definitely a good decision. But I must guarantee that if you haven't got any of these, print some because you will definitely use them. Then we have a keyring bottle opener. This prints stupidly fast and to be able to pop it on your keyring or I'm just going to throw it in my actual kitchen drawer to be able to open bottles whenever I need it. I don't have a bottle opener so the fact that I've been able to print this and just chuck it in my drawer, super useful. So I just finished 3D printing these tiny little clips here and these are actually cable tidies or charger holders or whatever you want to call them to be able to keep things where they need to be. For the longest time I've had this cable here plugged into this USB port just dangling on the floor and I must admit I lose this wire all the time. But now with these, I can have it so it doesn't just dangle around anymore and get lost all the time. The amount of times that I'm crawling around the floor looking for this thing and the fact that it took this video to be able to actually have me solve the issue, I mean, it's about time. It takes such a small amount of time to print. I've done a few of them because they will be super useful. A little bit of double-sided sticky tape to the desk and now the cable will always be where it's meant to be. But let me know in the comments what your favorite print from this video was and also if there's anything you've printed yourself that wasn't mentioned that you think is just absolutely awesome and use a hell of a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Catch you later.